To six, the owners of a Mount Clemens pet store accused of selling sick and dying puppies out of business tonight. Uh, 7 Action News reporter Naya Harden shows us who's shutting them down and what's being done to settle a lawsuit against those owners. For the last five years, customers have complained about the treatment of animals from little dogs. You can see right behind me the feces that's been left behind in some of these kennels. But after a long fight in court, that will be no more. This is the last of little dogs formerly known as Pollywood pets. This is actually where she would keep tiny little dogs that were sick. Rescue groups were saddened to see the shop trashed. In 2015, 30 customers filed a lawsuit against the store for selling them sick animals, some of them diagnosed with parvo. Five years of hard work. Um, just kept plugging away. I mean, I wasn't going to let it go. The case first came to me and I thought, what am I going to do? The store couldn't afford to pay for damages and they settled to close and donate their supplies. I would say that the citizens of Macomb County and really of Michigan aren't going to tolerate animal abuse. You know, we're pushing for a ban on the retail sale of animals, and this is just one more step in the right direction. In a statement by the pet store owner's attorney, he says the decision to resolve this matter is not to be construed as an admission of any wrongdoing on behalf of the defendants. Shelley Meyer sincerely hopes that the contents of her former business can be used in a worthwhile manner. The general public needs to know where their dogs are coming from. They're not coming from these family homes that these proprietors are trying to sell as you know, wholesome, good-natured folks that are just trying to, to spread the population. They're coming from puppy mills. They're coming from people in the thumb who don't care anything about animals. Everything in the store will be given to several rescue groups who will then use it to help animals. Naya Hardin, 7 Action News.